In this guitar lesson, I'm going to show you all a really fun bluegrass ending lick in the key of G. So let's go ahead and learn the lick first, and then I'll show you how to use it. Uh, you see in the tablature that measures one and two uh, on the screen, that's over the D major chord, and then measures three and four, that's going to be over the G major chord. So let's check out measure one. Measure one, we're going to form the D major chord, and we'll just do a pick strum to start it. So pick strum, and then that little lick right there. Pick, pull off, pick. That very first pick on that third fret, second string, uh, that's with the ring finger you're fretting hand, and that ring finger is already in position from holding down the D major chord. See that? So it's real easy to get into that lick uh, straight from that D major chord. So pick, strum, pick, pull off, pick. That's the first measure. And then the second measure goes like this. It's all eighth notes, second measure. Starting out with that pointer finger there on the first fret. So pick, pick, ring finger on that third fret right there. Off at the end of the second measure is with your ring finger. See that? The so measures one and two over that D chord, we've got. You got that down, you just gotta. Go to measures three and four and finish it off with this little. Measures three and four is pretty straightforward there. Pick down, down a pick. Pick down, down a pick. Pick down, down a pick. So let's put this all together, measures one through four.
Now you can use this ending lick in a lot of different ways. Uh, one way I like to use this lick is at the end of a guitar solo. So for example, uh, here is a 12 bar progression in the key of G. And let me play a real quick solo over this 12 bar progression. And you'll notice that I'm gonna play this ending lick, the last four bars or the last four measures of this progression. See there, the two bars of D and then two bars of G right at the end. So here we go. right at the end of that solo. Another way I like to use this ending lick is at the end of a song to kind of wrap up the entire song. So uh, let's say, for example, we've got a bluegrass song in the key of G, and we can use this same exact 12 bar chord progression as an example. And uh, let's say we've got this 12 bar progression. We've been repeating it over and over again throughout the entire song. But now we've gotten to the end of the song and we're gonna play the last um, 12 bars of this entire song. So after you play the last 12 bars of the song, you're gonna add on this ending lick to the end of that to kind of wrap up the song. Here's an example of what that might sound like. So we get last progression in the song. And then I'm gonna play that lick. If you want, you can kind of gradually slow down as you play that lick, and that'll kind of give you that feeling that we're wrapping up the entire song, and uh, use that lick as a really good way to end a song. Uh, so anyways, let me know if you have any questions about how to use this lick. Um, if you want to, you can check out the uh, Guitar Lick library that I have over at uh, countryguitaronline.com. And if you're here already, um, check out the Lick library. We've got the tablature for a bunch of licks like this. And I've also put together the scale charts that show all the notes um, from the scales that we're using to create these type of licks. Mm -hmm.